OCaml and 7 Things You Need to Know About It in 2021 OCaml belongs to the ML family of languages along with Haskell, f -sharp, Scala, and others. All ML languages have a reputation for changing the way programmers think about programming. They are strongly typed functional languages with world-class type inference, expressive type systems, pattern matching, and automatic memory management. OCaml has a lot to offer, including one of the most performant compilers in the world. Although it's hard to call it a mainstream language, it is heavily used by well-known companies all over the world, including Facebook. To help you get a head start on becoming an OCaml connoisseur, here are seven key things you may be surprised to learn. Welcome to Kofi Group. We're the executive recruitment specialists dedicated to matching software developers and machine learning engineers. On a direct hire basis with VC-backed startups in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, New York, and Austin. Our videos cover hiring tips and strategies for startups, software engineering, data science, interview preparation, salary negotiation, remote work, recruitment tips, and much more. Subscribe now for the latest software engineering and machine learning insights, invaluable hiring tips, and the best career building advice on YouTube. Also, make sure you stick around to the end for some bonus industry info that you won't want to miss. OCaml has a lot to offer, incorporating a variety of different paradigms into its functionality. To help you get a head start on becoming an OCaml connoisseur, here are seven key things you need to know. Number one, OCaml doesn't have null references. Also known as the billion dollar mistake, null references are now generally recognized as a bad idea. As with most ML languages, OCaml doesn't have them. The reason for this is because the ML languages have focused on correctness. If it compiles, then it just works. To represent a potentially non-existent value, OCaml forces programmers to wrap them in something called an option. When using options, OCaml forces programmers to explicitly handle the case where the value doesn't exist. This removes an entire category of bugs common in mainstream languages like C and Java. Number 2. OCaml is great for domain-driven design Traditional data structures like enums can be quite limiting when trying to model real-world domains. In mainstream languages, this leads to buggy implementations that are overly complex and hard to maintain over time. OCaml, like most other ML languages, has a killer feature called variants, which are user-defined types and data structures that make domain modeling incredibly intuitive. Despite its simplicity, variants are likely the most powerful feature of OCaml's type system. Number 3. OCaml features a great refactoring experience In mainstream languages, refactoring large sections of a codebase is generally a scary experience. The programmer must keep a lot of context in their heads while doing them and a lot can go wrong. In OCaml, the compiler truly has your back. Thanks to OCaml's expressive type system, the intent of the code generally lives in the code base itself, not in someone's head. Programmers change a type definition and follow the friendly error messages provided by the compiler until the application compiles. Once it compiles, it generally just works. Are you thinking about exploring new software engineering opportunities? Kofi Group is working with VC-backed SaaS, AI, developer tooling, and social impact startups around the country. All of the startups we work with utilize modern technologies, value work-life balance, and are hiring engineers on a 100% remote, on-site, and hybrid basis. We handle all salary negotiations and regularly see compensation packages ranging from $150,000 to $200,000 a year, plus equity for senior engineers. To benefit from a confidential conversation about your career and some of the best opportunities for software developers and startups, Contact us at kofi-group.com today. Number 4. OCaml has been around for a while OCaml isn't exactly a new kid on the block. Released in 1996, it follows on from Camel released 9 years prior. In fact, it came out the same year as Java. Since then, OCaml has had a lot of time to refine its type system and can compile to many platforms including JavaScript and native platforms. For example, Linux, Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android. It has a proper package manager, OPAM, and a modern building system, Dune. Number 5. OCaml is actively being developed While OCaml is currently single-threaded, Multicore is actively being developed by an organization called OCaml Labs. For more about OCaml Labs, here is an excerpt from their website. We are focused on pushing OCaml and functional programming forward as a platform 
making it a more effective tool for all users. We work on all aspects of the OCaml developer toolchain. Are you an OCaml programmer? What are some of the pros and cons you've noticed with this language? We'd love to hear from you. Type OCaml in the comments below and share your feedback with us. Also, keep watching to the end for some bonus content about salaries for OCaml engineers. Number 6. OCaml has a strict focus on performance. All ML languages have the advantage of static type systems, which dramatically optimizes compilation and execution. Dynamically typed languages have to bite the bullet of checking the types of variables in order to prevent type mismatch errors, which are not possible under a static type system. Xavier Leroy, one of the core developers of OCaml, has stated that OCaml delivers at least 50% of the performance of a decent C compiler. And results from the Great Computer Language Shootout provide evidence that OCaml is the second fastest programming language right behind C, although direct comparisons are obviously quite difficult. However, it's worth mentioning that OCaml is both type safe and memory safe while C is neither. Number 7. OCaml is not as popular as it should be. Given everything you know about OCaml, you might be confused as to why you don't see recruiters asking for it on LinkedIn as much as you'd expect. Well, the reason for OCaml's lack of popularity isn't necessarily a fault of the language itself. After all, Java did spend $500 million to market the language. The comparison and competition with C are clear in how the language was designed. However, C had a massive head start on getting into the mainstream. Basically, every Unix system shipped with C pre-installed, and out of the box, OCaml didn't actually provide that much functionality. The focus on performance optimization might be a cool thing to argue about on Reddit, but it doesn't exactly entice new developers to abandon the language they're used to and the libraries that make their lives easy to switch to a confusing environment that can sort arrays a little bit faster. It was due to OCaml's failure to get their foot in the door that resulted in it being dominated by other languages even if the core foundation of OCaml was fundamentally superior. That being said, the popularity of OCaml has grown significantly in recent years, and there is a thriving community that continues to develop tools and libraries to assist in development. Besides, being able to say on your resume that you're proficient with a language that's almost efficient as C, while achieving both type and memory safety, is quite the power move. And many developers say that learning the syntax of OCaml actually made their programming in other languages neater and more efficient. So even if you don't actually use it in practice, OCaml could still be quite a useful language to learn and add to your skill set. Congratulations, you made it to our bonus segment. Thanks for staying tuned in. As a special reward, here's the lowdown on what learning OCaml can earn you in terms of salary. We've scoured the advertised and current job offerings that require OCaml as a prerequisite to come to an estimated mean salary. In San Francisco, roles begin at around $90,000 per year all the way up to $230,000 in lead engineer roles. The average salary of roles that required OCaml was $155,000. New York salaries were slightly lower, ranging from $80,000 to $220,000 in senior software dev roles with the average hovering just above $135,000. If you're from Austin, Texas, the OCaml jobs are a little scarcer, but an average salary of $120,000 per year is what programmers can expect using this discipline. We hope you enjoyed OCaml and 7 things you need to know about it in 2021. If you learned something from this video, please click that thumbs up button and let us know in the comments if there's any recruitment, technology, or startup specific content you want us to cover next. If you enjoyed this video, then check back for our next video, How Functional Programming Can Help Attract the Best Software Engineers. To see this and other amazing recruitment, employment, and startup strategy videos, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on. At Kofi Group, we're the executive recruitment specialists dedicated to matching software developers and machine learning engineers on a direct hire basis with VC-backed startups in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, New York, and Austin. We help startups out compete FANG, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, and Big Tech in the highly competitive war for talent. To benefit from a confidential conversation about your career and some of the best opportunities for software developers and startups, contact Kofi Group today.